Our crew's attempting to pull out, but I don't think they trimmed up the outdrive. No, they're dragging it. They're telling my man in the truck to stop. And he's going to come back and take a look. I don't... We'll have to see how bad this one is, but... They were definitely dragging right there. Welcome back, guys, to the greatest show on Earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy, Wavy Boats, and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back at the ramp, and today we are visiting 79th. So Cap's going to get in the boat and try and trim that outdrive up. It's tough to tell from this distance if there's any damage or not, but I'm curious to see when he tries to trim it up, because a lot of times, sometimes, like... They'll get a little rollback and it'll be stuck and they can't even get it up. Oh wow, watch the boat drop as he gets it up. There was a ton of weight on that, but they were able to get it picked up. So Cap's making his approach, wifey on the lines, on the ready, and here we go. Got a decent angle. And Wifey touches up on the bow. Oh, the stern's kicking out, Cap. you to have to turn it back or kill the motor, one of the two. And Wifey, hopefully she can get off as the boat starts to drift away. But we've got a line on the dock, at least. And this crew behind them wants to come in on the same dock, it looks like. And we can see the security guard kind of waving them forward like, bro, move it up. So he's asking them to move it forward so the guys behind him can come in. They're going to try and walk it up. But Cap gives a push off. It looks like the stern's going to kick back out on him again. And they are having a tough time getting it buttoned up. As our crew behind them here patiently waits to see if they can get it settled so they can get in on the dock as well. And they're going to back out here and you'll be able to see... Our guys basically got this thing completely sideways over here on the dock. Trying to get it drugged back. This crew's definitely waiting more patiently than I would. I probably would have moved to one of the docks further down on the left. As Cap's struggling to try and get this thing back over. They tried to do the right thing, tried to move forward, and now they're paying the prices. I think they only have one line on the dock. I mean... Bro, you've got to carry two and get them both out there. And he's going for another one here, it looks like. And the struggle is real down here at 79th. But it looks like this should be good enough and they should be able to get it put it up from here. And our crew's going to come in from behind and hopefully try and get on the dock as well. We were filming something else, but our crew here pulled off. And unfortunately, they still had the line attached to the dock. So, Wifey's trying to get it off so they can get back underway. And it's become hung up. Every boater will probably do something similar to this once in their life. But I'll tell you what, it's one of those things that's typically a mistake you only make once, because a lot of times things go really wrong when this happens. And you definitely remember to check for those things after that. But it looks like they've got it off, so Cap's going to try and get out of here. And we've got the Regal coming in right behind him. And I think he's going to try and back right into the slip that he's pulling out of. And 
And I know they're not trying to pull this boat out. There's no way they're pulling this boat out here. They must be here to pick somebody up. I'm curious if security's going to run them off, as typically security does down here. But now our crew's going to back it in. And get it set up, it looks like. So Cap's making approach. We got at least one fender out. But it's on the wrong side. Up and up, there we go. We've got one on each side. So they were ready to go either which way. And we've got somebody, it looks like, in the bow ready with the line and the stern. Cap looks pretty good, set to go by Miami Boat Ramp comparisons. Making that slow roll approach in on the dock. Got a line on the mid cleat. Our guy's gonna try and get off here. Goes for the step, but he drops the line. You only have one job, bro. Get the line on the dock, <laughs> and and you forgot it. So Wifey's gonna go for the lasso here. Miss number two. And try and get this back on. And there we go. Third time's the charm, and we get it pulled up. Bro, you're still in gear. Cap left the helm. This boat's still moving. <laughs> He's going to wind up bumping into the dock. And finally realizes it. He comes back. And it's surprised he still got it on. I mean, there we go. He'll hit off and get the lines from here. But, man, that was a close one. You don't want to leave the helm, especially with these jet boats with that motor still running. Uh-oh. Dragon Skeg. Man, he scraped the snot out of that one. A lot different than our first one we saw earlier. There was a lot of weight on that initial skeg we saw earlier here in the day. My man scraped this one, though. We could hear it. Let's see if he's going to be able to trim this one back up or if he's got it caught. And like our first guy, he'll be good to go on this one as well. But, man, two in one day... Always fun down here at 79th, but they should be good to roll from here. And speaking of good to roll, we're going to go ahead and roll as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you guys did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where Man and Machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.